Hey everybody, this is Jimmy. Here's a quick and dirty corner or edge finder method uh, for your laser. So um, most of the time we don't really need a precision corner finding for laser, but sometimes you're doing precision work with um, your spindle and your laser and you need both your, you know, your routing to line up very well with your laser and it's kind of hard to go down um, on the edge of a piece of work here and really get an accurate um, spotting of, of that corner or maybe you want to get an edge. So I came up with this method. Um, this basically is just a piece of quarter inch MDF and you can use cardboard for this, uh, anything that's a little bit thick. But basically we've got a um, edge here to guide me into the corner. Uh, just like a normal kind of edge finder, but then on the top plate, I've got um, you can it you can see here. There's just a circle around that. That's just etched in really lightly as a target. But in the very center, there's a hole, and I've burned that all the way through this. And the idea is that you make this just slightly bigger than your laser beam. So in this case, I've cut a circle that's five thousandths of an inch in diameter. So it allows it to be just slightly bigger than my laser beam. And I'm going to show you how this looks, but basically your laser beam gives a really bright reflection when you're in test mode at, you know, very low power, you get this very bright reflection. But when you step it into that hole, it's, it all but disappears. So you can just jog this thing across here um, in X and in Y until your laser beam disappears in that hole and then you've found the corner. And, and basically I designed this top plate and this bottom corner piece uh, in the same design file in Vectric so that this circle or this hole in the middle is precisely aligned with the corner in here. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like, but this works really good. Um, you know, you can just, you can basically get in there in step mode and I do it in 10 thousandths of an inch usually and then if I want a little finer precision I'll step to set my jog mode to 0 0.001 or 1 thousandths of an inch stepping and really fine tune that but um, you'll see when we uh, show this that it, you can really get I would say within a couple thousandths of an inch precision um, aligning on this corner so let's see what, uh, what that looks like. All right, let's take a quick look at the design file here. Uh, first, I have uh, essentially this square that's set up. The project is um, three inches square. And I have a vector that goes all the way around. That's going to be the cutout vector for the top plate. I have another vector here that's kind of this this L shape and these are basic this is the cutout shape for the guide that I'm going to glue on the bottom so that's kind of the hook to to slide it into the corner and then I've got a couple of things if I really zoom in here on this corner where I've got these concentric circles here aligned around that corner and that's just a light etch as a visual aid because the hole right here that I'm going to use to drill through with the laser is so small that you really can't see it. So you kind of need this. I, I just have three circles um, around here that are, I think they're around 0.2 inches wide. So it's kind of a visual to know where you're jogging at because this target is so small. And then I have this tiny little circle here that is, I believe... Yeah, it's um, two and a half thousandths radius, in other words, five thousandths of an inch diameter. And um, the laser cannot drill a hole without some motor movement, at least not in Mach 4. It requires a motor movement to. Um, actually fire the laser and second you want that laser beam to totally disappear when it hits the center of that hole and the cutting piece as i've discussed in other videos the the high density the high energy density of the laser beam is directly in the center but there's still quite a bit of visual energy that you can see with your eye so you actually want to cut a hole that's 
a little bit bigger than your laser beam so that most of the fringe light also disappears when it, and falls into this hole when you're exactly in the center. So I, t I played around with this. Um, this hole size is a good hole size for the Optlasers X-T8. Um, that has about a 0 0.007 inch diameter hole, or, or uh, sorry, uh, beam size. That's how big of a hole it'll cut. So by making this circle 0 0.005 diameter and going around it, it's essentially going to make that hole a little bit bigger than the beam, than the cutting part of the beam. And so I played around with it. I had it at three thousandths of an inch and that wasn't quite enough so I made it five thousandths and that's a pretty good number almost all of the fringe light on the focused beam will disappear when you hit the center of this hole which is what I want so this is a five thousandths of an inch diameter um, and then two hundred thousandths of an inch um, diameter on these guide rings around it so essentially I, um, I cut the top plate the big square with a tiny little hole right in the corner and then this guide etched on top and then this uh, a completely separate piece I cut out as the guide and I basically just glue that on the bottom so this is very similar to like the Avid CNC touch plate it just provides a lip to um, catch on the outside corner of whatever I'm centering so that's all there is to the file, uh, two simple pieces to cut out. Quarter inch MDF works great for this. You could also use cardboard, but quarter inch MDF is heavy enough that it's not going to blow away or bump off easy and it's very durable. So that's kind of what I recommend. Okay, now you can see what this looks like visually. I'm stepping left and right and forward and back in incremental jog mode at 10 thousandths of an inch. So you can see how bright it gets when it just moves over 10 thousandths of an inch from being perfectly centered. Now I switch to 1 thousandths of an inch mode and I'm stepping over in each direction and you can see how it slowly gets brighter as I come up the edge of that hole so you can very precisely catch the center of this left and right and forward and back. So there you have it a very simple and inexpensive way to make an edge finder or corner finder uh, for your visible diode laser. Um, the main things that drive the accuracy here are getting the hole size to be just large enough so that the majority of the light falls into the hole when you are aligned and to make sure that you have that hole precisely aligned with the edge or the the lip of the edge underneath or the corner um, so that it's aligned you know when you slide it into the corner or against the edge um, but this i've tried this it works very well and um, it's, it's much more accurate and very quick to use than uh, just trying to split the beam across the edge. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below.